Rest in Thee, a series of meditations for the restless. Welcome to today's meditation on Rest in Thee. I wanted to begin today with the reflection on a passage from Matthew chapter 11. It's one that you might know well, um, but I just invite you to listen with with an openness. So in verse 28, Jesus says, Come to me, all you that are weary and are carrying heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. And then he says, Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. It's a beautiful invitation that Jesus offers us that if we take up the yoke that he offers to us, that we'll find our burden lightened. And I think a lot of us will find that some of the burdens that we're carrying at the moment can feel quite heavy, quite exhausting. They might even seem like they're not going to have an end. But I think the key to this passage is actually uh, the section just before it in Matthew 11, starting at, at verse 25. And it says, At that time, Jesus said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and the intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. When Jesus invites us to take up his yoke, he's inviting us into his relationship with the Father. That when we have a Father, we're not alone, we belong. We're not, you know, dragging the burden by ourselves, but we're in a community of persons journeying together. And when Jesus is saying, here, take my yoke, he's saying, come into relationship with the Father. Come and find that having the Father's love, receiving the Father's love, you'll start to experience your burden as light, or at least lighter, because love helps carry the load. And how do we access this yoke? Well, Jesus begins by thanking the Father that he reveals the mystery of this love, of how to just say yes with open arms to the little ones. So I think our invitation today is to receive the Father's love, allow him to journey with us, and in the process to just become little children whose load is lighter because they have the love of their Father. So wherever you find yourself, I invite you just to settle yourself. And when you're ready, just start to notice your breathing. With each breath in, just say yes, yes to the Father's love. When you breathe out, just surrender anything that you might be holding on to, any distractions, any pains in your body. And breathing in the Father's love and saying, yes, come.
and letting go. So I invite you to imagine that you find yourself on a hike. Um, you're in, on a track somewhere and it's quite beautiful, but you're a little bit distracted. You've got a backpack on and it's quite heavy. And the sun's beating down. Uh, there might be some insects about. And just notice what, what that's like to be there. What's happening in your body, in your senses. As you hike, journey, lug this load. Maybe you're going up a hill. Just get in touch with your desire to have a lighter load. Your desire to have an easing of everything that you're feeling right now. And there, in the midst of this really strenuous hike and Jesus has appeared and he just sits on a rock nearby and he pulls out his water, his water bottle and he offers you some and just allow yourself to, to receive that beautiful fresh water from Jesus, allow it to flow down and into your body And Jesus says, you can have this water anytime if you let me walk with you. And then Jesus asks you how, how your walk is going. How's the terrain? How's the weather? What have you been thinking about? How does it feel to be on this journey? And then Jesus notices your backpack and he asks you what's in it, what's so important to be carrying up all this way. And you find yourself not really wanting to answer him because you know that there's things in there that maybe you didn't need so much. Maybe there's things in there that are far heavier than they should be. And having to tell Jesus that that's what you're carrying almost feels a little bit awkward. There might even be a bit of shame in there of some of the things. So just ask the Holy Spirit to bring to mind something in your backpack. that has been quite a heavy burden to be carrying. And when you're ready, just take it out of your bag and show it to Jesus and talk to him about it.
And Jesus invites you when you're ready, just to set it down. And as you do, just notice a weight dropping from you. So again, just ask the Holy Spirit to reveal to you something else that might be in your bag. Might be a relationship, a situation, a group, a pattern of behaviour. Anything that might be in your bag that's taking more energy than it should be. And when you're ready, just take that out of the bag, show it to Jesus, and talk to him about it. And when you're ready, you can just set it down and notice the weight lift off from your body. And one more time, ask the Holy Spirit to show you something that's in your bag. This time it might be something that's been there a long time. Something that you maybe even forgot that you're carrying. Something that you felt very alone in carrying. When you're ready, gently take it out of the bag, show it to Jesus, and tell him about it. And just let him listen. And when you're ready, just set it down and notice the weight lifting from you. As you sit there with Jesus, He starts to tell you about how much he wants to walk with you. He wants to share the load with you. He says that to walk with him is to have a father. And you would never have to be walking alone again. Just notice what happens in you 
as you hear the invitation of Jesus. But notice what obstacles there might be. What things might stop you from having Jesus walk with you or walking with Jesus? What things might stop you feeling like you can have God as Father? What might stop you feeling like you don't have to carry it all by yourself? Whatever it is, just allow the Holy Spirit to rise it to your mind. Some of these things you might have been carrying for a long time. And maybe even the grooves of the weight are marked in your body or in your spirit. But when Jesus offers you his yoke, he's offering you something that won't sit in those grooves. It'll sit fresh on clean shoulders. When you're ready, I invite you to stand up and continue walking with Jesus. Just notice what's what's about you. The sky seems a little more blue, the trees a little more green, the air a little fresher, your step a little lighter. You might even notice that a smile rises up out of your chest and reaches your face. You look across at Jesus and know that as long as he's walking with you, you don't have to carry any of this alone. When you're ready, you can just return to the place where you are and just spend some time thanking Jesus for the gift of his presence with you and all that you've shared together today. Thanks for spending time with Jesus today. I look forward to next time. Thanks, friends. I'm Catherine Kingsley, and this is Rest in Thee, a series of meditations produced by the Missionaries of God's Love Sisters.